Tesla releases new body shop guidelines. Volvo gives Tesla some credit. And J.B. Straubel has another speaking engagement. Here are your Tesla tidbits for May 18th, 2017. We start tonight with Electrek, where we get some new information on adjustments to Tesla's body shop program. After taking plenty of flack earlier this year on the speed of repairs being made in their authorized shops, Tesla promised to make changes and do better. Today, Tesla details those changes with its Tesla Body Repair Program operating standards. For starters, we have the mission statement of the program, quote, to provide body shops with the training, procedures, parts, and tools to return the car to its originally engineered state of safety, performance, and aesthetics in an easy and economical matter, end quote. One of the changes that will probably make the biggest difference in repair times is that Tesla is now designating some shops as, quote, satellite cosmetic repair locations, end quote, which require less training and less equipment for those smaller dings on the cars. Hopefully the smaller shops can take advantage of the program and make some cash while alleviating stress on the shops that can do the bigger work. The goal of the program is to turn cars around in an average of nine days and ensuring contact with the customer every three days or less. These changes are on top of the already already announced changes that allow for more approved tools, the move of repair courses online to reduce the barrier to entry for shops, as well as the announced Tesla-owned shops that will be coming. Hopefully all of these things will produce a much better ownership experience for those unfortunate enough to have to use the program. Another Electrek story gives us a pleasant surprise out of another automaker. We all know the mission statement of Tesla is to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy, and it seems that at least at one other manufacturer, it's working. Volvo CEO Hakan Samuelson said today that its current generation of diesel engines would be its last, and it would make the shift to electric at the end of the generation. More surprising still, he actually gave credit to Tesla for pushing the market forward. Quote, We have to recognize that Tesla has managed to offer such a car for which people are lining up. In this area, there should also be space for us with high quality and attractive design, end quote. The CEO did also credit Europe's regulations as a factor in pushing the development of more efficient engines, but said that after 2020, electric propulsion would be a requirement. Further, he hinted at a possibility that diesel engines may end production for Volvo after 2023. It's nice for once to see another automaker give Tesla some credit, and a big kudos back at Volvo for earnestly beginning EV efforts. Lastly tonight, the kind folks from the Energy Fair to be held in Custer, Wisconsin, sent me a note to let you all know that our favorite CTO, J.B. Straubel, will be delivering the keynote speech at the event on June 17th. If you want to get in and see him, you can nab reserved seating for $50 a ticket. If you happen to be a Midwest Renewable Energy Association member, you can lop half off the price of the ticket. If you're in the area, go on and have some fun. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks so much to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, and Ryan Scarborough for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. If you have nothing extra to spare, no worries. Please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and other services across the internet. Lastly, if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can save $1,000 off while supporting the show and super patron Drew Schuyler by using the referral link ts.la slash andrew1233. That's all for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. Until next time, keep it charged and hit the road.